We got an ordinance that is going to require any gas station or basically any business, retail license. Any retail license that's selling uh, paraphernalia, rolling papers, you know, bonds, pipes, X-rated materials, X-rated materials, uh, anything that shouldn't be visible to children. That they're no longer allowed to do that unless they have a separate segregated section. All right. So we're. Uh, Councilman Picker agreed to sponsor this ordinance. It's a problem. It was I noticed the problem get worse progressively over time. We talked with our legal attorney about whether or not it's possible to just outlaw paraphernalia, and it's not. So what we decided to do instead is make it harder. If they're going to sell these types of things, which we don't necessarily agree with, but it is legal, if they're going to do this, they should have to go through efforts. They should have to segregate it so that if my 11-year-old son is going to go buy sunflower seeds, he shouldn't have to say rolling papers and bongs and pipes and everything sitting right in front of them. So we decided, <clears throat> I, I appreciate Councilman O'Pinker agreeing to step up and sponsor this ordinance. Um, we intend to, if this pass, passes, enforce it aggressively. Uh, there's heavy fines if businesses do not follow this, $2,500 per day. And also the revocation of their business license, which means they no longer allowed to be in business. So. We think this is important. I agree, and I think the councilman is uh, very brave for stepping up to do this, and uh, hopefully we have success. Councilman? Uh, like like Mayor said, uh, when we're trying to clean up this city, and the, the big issue I have, you have new gas stations opening, new, uh, new ones and old, and you walk in, and that's some of the first things you see is these bongs. And you know damn well they're not smoking regular tobacco in you're using illegal tobacco. I mean, it's laugh, laugh about it. It's, it's the fact. Facts are facts. And by this ordinance being implemented and um, police enforcing it, I think it's going to, you know, wake these retailers up and, uh, you know, clean their stores up. You don't see this in other communities. Even though in Indiana, I mean, what options do we have as a municipality if somebody is selling paraphernalia? We could go up and say, stop selling that paraphernalia. And if, you know, they could agree to stop doing it, some of them would because you shame them into it, and then others would say, I could do this. This is a way we could do it. You know, you can sell it, Hammond, but you have to set up a separate area. It's got to be monitored. It's got to be 18 and over. My son, my 11-year-old son, shouldn't, be able, shouldn't have to see this to buy sunflower seeds or Gatorade from the local gas station. And it's bad. It's gotten worse. And we want to fix it. And I, and I appreciate the council for stepping up. I appreciate the city attorney, Chris, for being creative and finding a way for us to regulate this menace in Hammond. Uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, we're available. Vanessa, yeah. How are you going to um, enforce those? By, it, somebody, Bobby Lundy, the city controller, can enforce it through your authority to revoke licenses, right? Yeah, absolutely. I have the authority yeah, yeah, to, to um, manage all business licenses and one of the authorities that I have is the business is chronically in violation of city ordinance and the ability to revoke the business license. We've done that previously in occasions where we've had gas stations um, that have harbored prostitutes and drug dealers. And that's one of the uh, tools that we've been able to use in, in order to uh, try and push them to be a more compliant uh, corporate corporate neighbor and corporate citizen. And the police department, obviously, if they know that this is no longer allowed without a segregated section, the police department can enforce it. Um, token code. Token code. I mean, once we know this is the law in Hammond, right now it's the, the ordinances are silent on this issue, right? That's correct. Once we, oh, I'm sorry. Once again, it would require a separate, if, I'm not sure if anybody here has ever been to a liquor store, uh, a lot of times there'll be a prompt, especially if you go to Walgreens, there's a prompt where you have to put in a birth date. Every 18 and over purchase will require a prompt of a birth date, which requires the cashier to see a driver's license or ID. Now, if a store doesn't wish to cater to anybody under 18, then they can be a, just like a liquor store, uh, 21 and over, 18 and over. But if any place that a child has a lawful right to be, they do not have a lawful right to purchase these items. They're not appropriate for children, they're not lawful for children, and if they want to sell them, that's fine, but they're gonna to have to do it in a different manner, which will be more secure for the community and for the children of the community. Any idea how many uh, businesses are still intact? Unfortunately, it's a number that's increased lately, and it's unacceptable. And it, so we had a tough meeting in the public a few weeks ago, and one of the complaints from the crowd that hit me close to home was that you got all these stores selling paraphernalia and basically attracting a certain market and you guys don't do anything about that. 
You know, then how can we trust you on another issue, right? And, the thing, and that hurt me. I heard it. I knew it was right. And we've had this discussion many times. And we can't outlaw the selling of glass pipes. But we can't outlaw the selling of bongs or papers. What we can do is force these businesses to choose to sell this product to go through a process. And that's what we intend to strictly enforce. And it, it affects more than I, you know, I, I don't know factually, but it's gotten bigger under my watch. And we want to make sure it gets smaller. <laughs> I know in my district alone, in the 5th district, there are 15 businesses that I know of that are selling stuff. And like I said, that's what I know of. I'm sure there's some more out there, but like I said, that's where I'm at. My local gas station does. And, and it's gotten worse. And it used to be a, a nice local gas station, and it's gone ghetto in a way. And I mean, meaning that they're attracting themselves to an element that, you know, you don't need to sell these things in a local gas station, so. Anybody else? Thank you very much.